Hey, hi, hello, and welcome back to my channel, friends. Today, we have another speed build video for you. I've decided to take on a little bit more decorating, and we're doing a greenhouse slash conservatory area today. So if you need some inspiration on a room like this, now's your chance. To start off with, I used the pale carved wooden post wallpaper on three of the walls. And then on one of the walls, I used the worn green painted wood panel wallpaper as like a feature wall. And I did change the door to a different door as well, just so it had greenery on it. And the floor I used was the basket weave dark wooden floor because I wanted the floors to be a little bit darker than the rest of the room. You'll notice that I use a lot of green items because if this is going to be a greenhouse slash conservatory, we wanted to make sure there was a lot of green in here. So I definitely utilized a lot of craftable items such as the trellises and the crates and the sacks. And you'll notice that I've used a lot of those around this build. You'll also see that I have chests already laying out in the room and that's because I had flowers in them. This is my greenhouse after all and I didn't want to pull them out just to put them back in. I also used the three panel windows because as you can see, depending on what room you're in or what wall you put these windows on, they give off incredible light and I wanted to make sure we used those in this build because if we're growing plants in here, we want to make sure we have good lighting and good windows. So I added two to one wall, one to the opposite wall, and then kind of just made like a little reading area in the back corner next to the wall that only had one of the windows. I did use two different windows on the back wall by the Lion King stained glass window. And that's because for starters, that wall wasn't giving off any sort of light when I put the three panel windows on it. So I just decided to put windows that gave a little bit more color to the room. As you can see, I am making sure to place a lot of miscellaneous items such as books by the bookshelf or some items on the tables like other flower or foliage items. And of course I had to use the cute little cub lamp that we got from the Lion King realm. And as you'll see, I'm just placing a bunch of different foliage items to make sure that this room stays true to a greenhouse room. You'll see throughout the rest of this speed build that I kept trying to make that tall tree with the gold base work in this build so hard and every time I pulled it out it just didn't go with the rest of the room no matter how hard I tried so you're definitely going to see that tree a couple more times because I wanted to make it work so so bad but it just it wasn't going it wasn't fitting with the rest of the room so I finally gave up on it after a few minutes. I did add a couple of like beakers and little like scientific miscellaneous items on one of the tables just as like a research table and I thought that was really cute. You're going to see me messing around with the side of this chair for a few minutes because I wanted some sort of foliage item. There's that tree again. I wanted some sort of foliage item next to the chair. I didn't want a side table because they seemed to be too bulky. So I just decided to use one of the craftable foliage items and call it a day. I used industrial lighting in this build because I felt like it's a workspace. So that's the kind of vibe I wanted. And then I finished off the ceiling with the ceiling vines and I just bought a ton of them from Scrooge so that I could fill the rest of the space. So there it is, friends. This is my greenhouse conservatory area. This is where I keep all of my flowers because I'm a hoarder. I don't know if y'all are, but feel free to use this build for your own 
or you can use it for inspiration, whatever you want. We're all here to help each other out with our decorations. I hope you enjoyed. If this helped you at all, feel free to leave a comment. I would really appreciate it because it does help my channel grow. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I'm absolutely going to be doing more indoor speed builds here coming up in the future. Since I hit my outdoor item limit, this is about all I have to work with anymore. So you're going to be seeing a lot more indoor builds from me until Disney Dreamlight Valley decides to up the item limit. I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, friends, take care.